Right, so then today let's try and do a review of a very good game, a very very good game, an extremely good game, called, just just wait for it, Relogic, 505 games, or 505 games, I don't know what pronunciation it is, Pipex Studio, oh, does it really not say? Does it really not say? Does it seriously not say? Okay, it doesn't. Um, well, this is Terraria. So let's just re review, um, review Terraria. Leave a like if you want to see more reviews. Hope you enjoy. Bye. So then, I'd say the best thing about Terraria is its resemblance to, as uh, some would call it, being a 2D version of Minecraft. Which I can agree with quite a bit really, because it's a very good game. A very successful game. I believe that it takes inspiration from Minecraft. A lot of inspiration. But I like how it's 2D. Which is what I really like, because that's so like, the like, retro feeling to it. Like, mm, what's it um, I like Mario. I like Mario. The, the original Mario, I mean. Not the, oh, not the 3D ones now, this. Oh, the cringe. <sighs> anyway. But it's got a really large selection of weapons, which is really large. It's mad. There's also loads of materials, which is so large that it's mad. Um, Biomes are quite good as well. I can't remember how you can go and like be in one place like a forest and then be in the demon underworld as I am in here. Um fairly good game, I'd rate it an eight out an eight out of ten. But now let's go a little bit more in depth, because I've got another ten minutes to spare on this video. Terraria is a good game, but only because it is a 2D adventure game and it performs that task of being a 2D adventure game very very well because that's what it is entirely based on unlike uh, no, mm, let me think I just died I just realised that I'm doing a voiceovers afterwards again but it executes being a 2D adventure game extremely well hence why it's so good is like a screwdriver, you might rate it out like 10 out of 10 for undoing screws, but like for making a TV, and that's a rubbish example, for forging a knife or m melting a knife or cutting down, cutting down a tree, you might rate it uh, 1 out of 10. That's because most games are only made with a very, very specific task in mind. And like, well, GTA 5 is very different. It can be an adventure game, a shoot 'em up, a beat 'em up, I mean, a first person shooter, whichever one you want, really. But every way, it does them all fairly quite well, hence why that was so successful. The same is probably with uh, Skyrim, Dark Souls, and all that stuff. Um, like I said, Terraria 2D game executes that very well. A bit like Minecraft, but Minecraft is 3D, hence why it's got so good ratings. It executes it so well. Well, it's tasked so well with being a 3D adventure game. Um, I'm stalling, if you haven't noticed. Because there's nothing to talk about! All what Terraria is! It's so self-explanatory. It's so self-explanatory. We don't need to really go over it. It's just God. Um. Well, what can I do? Um. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Well, it was different. Let's say events. There's different events. There's Martian Madness event, which is where I got my little UFO mount from. Which now I think I just got that from subscriber, didn't I? No, it's a great event me, actually. Martial Minds event, no, I have done. And it is... Oh, I should have made a video on that. That would have been a brilliant video. And it's my favourite event, because it's 
Martian Madness, it's to a space, so I'm being an astrophysicist. But there's loads and loads of unique enemies that you don't usually see in events, and that's what I really like about them. Like the slime, like when it's like the raining slimes event. Slimes literally rain from the sky. Pretty self explanatory. Or. Solar Eclipse event. That's quite good because it's different enemies and they're harder to kill and they're just different. It's just so much nicer. I know I'm probably not making any sense, but I also really like the equipables. The equipables. Like all of these that I'm showing you right here. Oh, flip. I, I don't know why I just went to sit flip. It's like I'm watching a video. I also like how you can go and like put on the all like vanity items, I think it's called. And so you can have armour and equipment. And then you can also have like pets, mm, light pets, uh, minecarts, mounts, uh, grapplers. Now you can go and die all of them. That's very nice. I quite like that. That's a really good part of the game. I'd be able to go and dye everything a specific colour. It's something that's really, really good in games. I don't know why. It makes it seem a bit special. Not in a bad way. In a good way. I have to think of it. What is the meaning of Terraria? What, uh, what, what is it referencing? No, I, I don't. It's like it's. It's almost as if it's like an RPG. <coughs> I guess it's an RPG, now, isn't it? Because you're supposed to be set as some explorer who goes around and has to stop the world from being corrupted with the evil forces of evil or whatever. But that is an extremely oh, flip bad definition because there's so much more to it. I mean just seeing this tree is more in like mm. Impactful to me right now because I I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking oh how did this tree get here who programmed it why is it there what why is everything I'm looking at just a flashing lights and certain pictures being shown every second just a certain amount of pictures being shown every second that's tricking me into thinking it's a moving image also why is this just this is all just pixels on the screen it's just a simulation whether our life is a simulation oh, I'm going really in depth here I can't do that I'm like off again. Also, I really like the dungeons because they're a brilliant way of doing it. Like, a, that's a crap. That's a crap explanation. It's just, it's just really good because there's different enemies in them. Is flip? They're a very specific part of the map, and there's only one of them per world. So therefore, if you waste it, then you've lost it. Which is a bit sad, to be honest. Now I come to think of it. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, that's one my review of Terraria. 8 out of 10. Would play again. <laughs> Would play again. 8 out of 10, that rhymes. I don't know why I found that funny, but oh well. Um, For more reviews, press like. And also subscribe. Or else I like, murder your family. No offence or nothing. Mm. Yeah, so that's been this video. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye!